All right, Devin, let me give you a real quick crash course on how to set up a button inside of ClickFunnels. So let's just open this up. Now, the real question becomes is, do you need to submit the page? Do you need to submit the form? Now, I do not have a form here, but I let's pretend I have this form right above here, and I want somebody to put in their email and their name or something like that, and then click it to save that data and then go to the next page is probably most likely what you're trying to do. But let's just open this up and I'll show you all the different things you can do as far as setting an action. So we'll come here and we'll set an action and let's just go down here first. And you can say, okay, when somebody clicks on this button, what elements on the page do I want to show? We can show sections or we can show rows. So you can make things show and hide based upon when somebody clicks on a button. So we could show some things. So you would like create a section that would be hidden and then we could show it when somebody clicks on the button or vice versa. We could hide a section or row when somebody clicks on the button. You can also come in here and you can say, I want to scroll to, scroll to a certain row or section. So again, we would come down our list, we would pick the row or section we wanted to scroll to. And when they clicked on the button, it would of course scroll down to the page to that point. So now let's open this back up. And now we're going to go to set action. And so we can go to next step in the funnel. Now read what it says here. It says go to next step in funnel, but it says this does not submit your form. So if you were to pick this option and somebody were to click this button and let's say you had you had the form above it for your name and email let's say it would not save that name and email it would just go to the next page in the funnel that's all it's going to do of course here you can go to the website url and this hashtag is here because you can do different things regarding that hashtag you can say I want to open the pop-up, which is also one of the pre-built right here, but you could do other things uh, by putting in a hashtag there and that's something totally different for a different day. But if you are gonna put in a URL, you gotta make sure you take out the hashtag first and then put in the entirety of the URL. So the HTTPS colon slash slash google.com or wherever you want them to go to. So I'll put that hashtag back in. Now here's the other thing is you take out that hashtag and then later on, you're like clicking on the button and you're finding that the page is reloaded. Uh, it's because you took out that hashtag. In order to keep the page from reloading, you want to leave that hashtag in there based upon other criteria um, not being set. So if you were to take that out and then you were to use some JavaScript code to do something when the button was clicked on, the page would continue to reload. And so we go to the next survey question. I don't think I've ever used that Facebook opt-in. You'll probably never use that. You can click on it and have it open up the pop-up as well, or you can have it submit the order form or page. So again, if you set it here, when somebody clicks on that button, it will save the name and the email address to the ClickFunnels contact database. Now, what you're probably trying to do is a combination of when they click on this button, you want them to save the email address to the database and also go somewhere else, either to the next page in the funnel, the next step in the funnel, or to another third party somewhere. Again, let's just say google.com. So, in the way we have it set right now, if somebody were to click on this, it would save the email address to the ClickFunnels database. It'll create a new contact if need be, and it will go to the next step in the funnel. But if you don't want them going to the next step in the funnel, you want them going somewhere else. And again, I don't have this clicked here for go to next step in the funnel. I just have the submit form. So the built-in functionality inside of ClickFunnels is if you have submit the form, it will submit the email address again to the database, save all the contact information, and then it will go to the next step in the funnel. But if you want them to go somewhere other than the next step in the funnel, a different step in the funnel, a different step in a different funnel, or to any web page anywhere on the interwebs, you come up here to settings and you come down to general and you go right here. So it's on submit go to. So what it's saying here is when somebody clicks the submit button, it will save that information again to the ClickFunnels database. And then over here, you're going to go somewhere else. So let's just say HTTPS, go on slash slash Google 
Com. I don't even know if I spelled it right. I guess I did, Oops, except for the HTTPS part. So that's what you would do there. If you want them to go somewhere other than the next step in the funnel, you put it in here so that on submit, they will go to that page somewhere else on the interwebs. And then you just click out of here. You don't want to click on save pages template. Uh, you just want to click out of here, save the page. And then there you go. So that hopefully answered your question on how to set up a button.